catch, clean, and cook for the snook that I caught the other night. My buddy John already filleted for us. I went over to Publix. I picked up some Louisiana fish fry products, seasoned fried fish, um, breading, very delicious. Got a couple lemons, olive oil, extra virgin for the frying, some Heinz premium tartar sauce, my knife, and check this out, my Baycaster spatula. I'm gonna put the link for you guys that would like to have one of these in the description below. Check it out, it's awesome. All right, and then I got my frying pan. All right, here we go, let's get started. First off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check for the snook just on the outside, just if I could feel any bones or anything like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove that just so that it's a much more pleasant meal. Nobody likes to be picking out the bones. I'm gonna try to get as little of the meat as possible and just try to get those hard parts out of the fish. All right. Now what I'm also gonna do, is I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get as much as this dark meat out here as possible. Some people don't really like it. It has a very fishy taste. I know it's oxymoron because we're eating fish, but very, very gamey. So, I wish I had a better knife for this. So just go ahead and try to remove as much of that red meat as possible. All right. See that? Move as much as that as you can. All right, so now what you do is I'm gonna go ahead and just slice it right down the middle in this natural little line that it has. Now, this is completely based off of preference, how big you want your uh, fish fingers to be. Now, of course, the bigger, thicker the fish finger is, it's gonna be longer to fry. All right, so I like to do um, just a little bit bigger than my thumb, and I'll go ahead and just slice those up. Just keep cutting them up to your liking. Now what I will do is I will quickly just wash these off. Rinse them off in water. All right, let it just sit there. Also, I'll just slightly sprinkle it with sauce, even salt, even though the seasoning already has some seasoning and salt in it, you know, just for a little flavoring. All right, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open up your breading. You're gonna pour it in the bowl. Let me pour exactly the way you're gonna use, because if not, then you just have excess um, breading, and when it gets wet, you can't use it the same. All right, there you go. If I need more, I'll go ahead and pour more. Now what I'm doing, is then I'm just gonna coat each one, drop it in, coat both sides, all around, make sure it's fully coated. Now let's put it right back on the board. Do that for all the pieces. Wanna make sure you're generous with the seasoning, coating, breading, whatever the heck you wanna call it. Just make sure you get everything all around it. All right, now I'm just gonna put this off to the side. So there you see, now we got all our fish breaded. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn it up halfway in between medium and high, around seven. I'm gonna add our extra virgin olive oil.
always good to use extra virgin. Do not use pomace. Okay, extra virgin is always the first squeeze of the olive. I'm gonna let that, I'm gonna let that go ahead and warm up. And then we'll go ahead and add the fish. All right, now slowly, I'm just gonna go ahead and begin to add the fish and the olive oil. Not too many at once. Try to leave some separation. It'll be a lot easier on you when you're trying to turn them over. I want you to leave that in there for about five minutes on each side or until it's about um, golden toasty on each side. All right, I'm just gonna check it. See how they're doing. Now, just leave it for a couple more. Maybe one more minute. Now go ahead and flip them. A the plate ready right here with paper towels over it. This will help um, absorb the excess grease once we take it off the frying pan. All right, second batch is about done. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them out. Put them on the plate. It smells delicious. All right, so we're ready to go. Ready to chow down. It's just a quick review. The snook was absolutely amazing. Um, it's the first time I ever had snook. I was extremely surprised. Um, the texture was very firm, but inside it was very soft. Um, the flavoring, it didn't have that very gamey, fishy taste. It had a very clean taste, and um, I really liked how it paired up with the lime and the seasoning um, from the Louisiana breading. Um, so I was very satisfied with it. My wife loved it. So I hope you liked the video. Um, if you liked it, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys again soon.